Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Christ Honoring Commentary Series on the Book of Genesis by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and he is the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Deland, Florida, and this is the cover of the Genesis book, and it is not in print at the present time, but uh, hopefully here soon it'll be uh, available again uh, in a different format, a more common uh, by verse by verse, chapter by chapter commentary, and so perhaps they'll put the, the devotional um, topics in there in the new edition when it comes out. So, but this is uh, uh, the, the original um, book here, the devotional type book there. And uh, so today is the 20th, and the topic is titled A Raven and a Dove. And before we get started on that, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already. And he's not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance and trust his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And he will save your soul and wash away all your sin and then show you how to have a Christ-like life and have a good, solid relationship with him as you uh, learn and grow. Amen. And to find a good Bible-believing church and all that. So, praise the Lord. All right. So, today is the 20th of February. And it's titled, A Raven and a Dove. So, and this is from uh, Genesis chapter 8. And Brother James writes here, Two birds left the ark some time before Noah, his family, and the surviving animals and mammals. The first to go out was the raven, Genesis 8, 7. The next was a dove, Genesis 8, 8. The ground was still muddy, littered, and no doubt strewn with uh, Karan, that's C-A-R-R-I-O-N, uh, Karan. Uh, for this reason, the dove returned unto the ark. The raven, however, never came back. That's interesting, the raven never came back. The raven is an unclean bird. That explains it. Leviticus eleven fifteen, and Deuteronomy fourteen fourteen, and would have had no difficulty picking its meals from the decay left behind by the receding flood. By contrast, the dove would not set foot on such nasty ground. <laughs> Right? Such is the historical fact. The spiritual truth represented is somewhat more complex. The key is the little phrase in verse 7, to and fro. This is Satan's testimony of himself in Job 1, seven and 2.2. 2. This is what false doctrine will do to one influence thereby. Ephesians 4.14 is the reference. It is what a nation is reduced to when the word of God is taken from them. Amos 8.12 is the reference. Uh, who can read of the dove and not recall that every one of the four Gospels makes mention of the Spirit of God descending like a dove upon Jesus at his baptism? And the references here are Matthew 3.16, Mark 1.10, Luke 3.22, and John 1.32. So another dark cloud hangs over the post-flood account. Uh, evil goes out first and finds a place in the earth. Good follows after and has a difficult time taking up residence. Uh, there is also a prophetic picture in the account. During the tribulation, Satan and the host of darkness will be loosed, but there will be an appeal from the Spirit of the Lord through the two witnesses, the 144,000 and their converts, uh, but as this witness is larger rejected, it will be withdrawn only with the budding of the olive tree, Genesis 8, 11, and Romans 11, will earth be a fit place in which for man to live again. Hallelujah. So that is the end of the topic on a raven and a dove. And good, interesting stuff in this. Um, devotional topic here, this outline. So, praise the Lord. All right, so hope you learned something today. And you learn something every day from these uh, outlines here and these topics. So, and tomorrow it will be the uh, 21st, and Genesis 8 20 is the verse here, and the topic we'll be going over. And it uh, says here in Genesis 8 20, and Noah builded an altar unto the Lord. So, that will be tomorrow's topic, and it's two pages. Starts on page 73 and goes to page 74 in the copy of the book I have, which was printed in 2005, the second um, edition. So, again, that's the copy 
or the cover of the book, I should say. And so that's that book. And you can probably find that somewhere on the internet. And you can find all of Brother James's books online at uh, www.jameswnox.org. Or go straight to the book uh, store uh, part of the website at store.jameswnox.org and look up all the books and other materials that uh, he has on there. So, amen. And then the Baptist Spread uh, devotional that I do, another broadcast I do, uh, Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast, and that's uh, um, available to watch on either Facebook or the YouTube channel, however you watch uh, these broadcasts. And the YouTube channel is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up. So, amen and praise the Lord for these books by Brother James. And uh, amen. All right, well, that'll be about it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye-bye for now.